Top 9 Ongoing and Completed Projects in South Africa In this video, we will take a look at the most impressive ongoing and completed projects in South Africa. These projects are a testament to the country's economic and infrastructural growth. They have also had a positive impact on the lives of South Africans, creating jobs and improving access to essential services. But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading new videos about Africa every week, and I would love for you to join me on this journey. Now, let's get started. Number 9. The Moses Mapida Stadium Moses Mapida Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium located in Durban. It had an R2.7 billion price tag and was finished in 2009. Since the 2010 FIFA World Cup, the location has played host to a variety of events, including rugby matches, concerts, and football games. Number 8. Waterfall City Business District, South Africa A mixed-use development, the Waterfall City Business District consists of office buildings, residences, hotels, and shops. It cost R10 billion, and it was completed in 2015. Numerous multinational corporations have offices in the Waterfall City Business District, one of the biggest business districts in Africa. Both tourists and business people frequent the area. An important center for entrepreneurship and innovation is the Waterfall City Business District. It is a major engine of economic growth in South Africa and is home to many startups and technology firms. Number 7. King Shaka International Airport, South Africa The biggest airport in South Africa is King Shaka International Airport. It cost R4.2 billion and was completed in 2010. King Shaka, the creator of the Zulu Empire, is honored with a name for the airport. Many international airlines use it as a major hub for air travel within Africa. For KwaZulu Natal, the King Shaka International Airport is a significant economic engine. It provides a significant amount of employment and brings in billions of rands annually. Number 6. Zietz MOCA Museum of Contemporary Art Africa A collection of contemporary African art is displayed in the 9,000 square meter Zietz MOCA Museum of Contemporary Art Africa. It cost R500 million and was completed in 2017. The largest museum of contemporary art in Africa is housed in a grain silo that has been converted. Both tourists and art enthusiasts frequent the area. Over 8,000 works of art from the 20th and 21st centuries can be found in the museum's collection. The collection, which showcases the diversity of African art, includes pieces by artists from all over the continent of Africa. Number 5. The Go Train Rapid transit system known as the Go Train connects Santon, Pretoria and Johannesburg. It was finished in 2010 and is South Africa's first high-speed rail system. The project had an R28 billion price tag. Since its debut, the GO train has carried more than 100 million passengers, making it a huge success. Additionally, it has assisted in easing traffic congestion in the metro area of Gauteng. The GO train has 10 stations, 8 of which are underground. The trains travel at speeds of up to 160 km per hour and can carry up to 1,200 passengers per train. The GO train is a major economic driver for South Africa, creating over 100,000 jobs during construction and over 4,000 jobs during operation. Number 4. Nelson Mandela Bridge, South Africa A 274-meter-long pedestrian and bicycle bridge, the Nelson Mandela Bridge spans the Juxkai River in Johannesburg. It cost R200 million and was completed in 2003. The bridge bears Nelson Mandela's name, who served as South Africa's first black president. It is a well-liked location for both locals and visitors and offers breathtaking views of the city. Orange and white paint cover the steel and concrete construction of the bridge. It is a famous location for photography and a landmark in Johannesburg. Number 3. The Nelson Mandela Square In Santon, Johannesburg, there is a public square called Nelson Mandela Square. It took a year to compete and cost R1 billion. Nelson Mandela, the first black president of South Africa, is honored with a square bearing his name. Numerous events, such as concerts, festivals, and exhibitions are held there. It is a well-liked tourist destination. Number 2. The Robben Island Museum On Robben Island, a former prison where Nelson Mandela spent 18 years behind bars, there is a museum called the Robben Island Museum. The museum chronicles Robben Island's history and its contribution to the fight against apartheid. It is one of South Africa's most visited museums and a well-liked travel destination. 
The Robben Island Museum is located on Robben Island, which is located in Table Bay. The museum is home to a number of exhibits that tell the story of Robben Island, including the cell where Nelson Mandela was incarcerated. The Robben Island Museum is a powerful reminder of the struggle against apartheid and the importance of freedom. Number 1. V and a Waterfront South Africa The V and a Waterfront, which is located on the shores of Table Bay, is home to the Castle of Good Hope and other historical buildings. A number of museums, including the Robben Island Museum and the South African Maritime Museum, are also located along the waterfront. A well-liked location for dining, shopping, and entertainment is the V and a waterfront. These projects are a testament to the country's economic and infrastructural growth. They have also had a positive impact on the lives of South Africans, creating jobs and improving access to essential services. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Believe me, if you subscribe, you will have 50 years of good luck.